What's up, you all? Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. We must emphasize this bit of wisdom. Um, I pray that you all have been well, that you all have been well, your families, everything. But here, here, I'm going to share a tiny little clip of this video. Dan, uh, is it Dan Pena? Yeah, Dan Pena. Uh, so if you grew up in a codependent environment where you are codependent with your your family members, then this is going to affect you the rest of your life. And it's up to you to do the inner work. And And right here, he's dropping bombs he's dropping divine bombs here uh but we must continually run this through our mind and this will help us cleanse ourselves from those the wrong ways of thinking that's why this is why i call them puzzle pieces because we have the wrong way of thinking and we have the correct way of thinking is each of these puzzle pieces and as we run them through our mind this gives us hope it removes the veil from our eyes we're able to it, it orients us the puzzle piece it's like if we we're on our road trip and we have our map quest and then it falls down and it's on the floor under the seat crap i'm lost where am i going you you're, you're you lost your orientation right you don't know where you're at then this puzzle piece it brings you back it's like oh wait all oh, right this is where i'm headed this is where i'm going get you back on track but let me tell you the payoff is worth it. When you start to value yourself, when you start to set healthy boundaries and expect respect, something magical happens. You start attracting people who value you too. You start building relationships based on this mutual respect goal. and genuine affection, not obligation or manipulation. And here's the real kicker. <laughs> you become capable of loving more deeply, more authentically than ever before. Because when you love from a place of self-respect and wholeness you're not loving out of need or fear mm. you're loving from a place of strength and choice this is the kind of love yes see that's why i share this the stuff that resonates with me where father god is healing me from what father god is healing me from because i have lived this i am living this i have lived this so i understand this And this is a very painful way to live. Um, like in the past, I, I thought that for me to be a whole, like, individual, right? A complete individual, I had to have a, a woman, right? To complete me. But that's wrong way of thinking. I am already whole and complete. The right woman for me is going to be also whole and complete, right? And we're going to be headed in the same direction, right uh i love jesus right so she has to love jesus too otherwise i've been in relationships like that in the past that's not going to work out i've tried to <laughs> uh, my codependence was like my mind would tell me oh i can fix this person i can help them no you cannot no uh you know i had to repent i'm sorry lord for uh, attempting to be you right or lord jesus i cannot i'm not captain save a person no we are not. Uh, the greatest way that I have discovered is by living, by by through example, right? That's why I'm, I'm not asking you all to do anything that I am not doing. I'm not. This is what I, I'm running these puzzle pieces through my mind. This video, for example, I'm going to run it through my mind for a whole week straight. Then I'm going to run. Then, I'm, then Father God is going to lead me to another video where it has a bunch of puzzle pieces that are going to help me and assist me, right? And then I can bring value to you guys too. I'm not losing by get sharing this with you all. How am I losing? I'm not. And you guys get to win too. That en enriches your life. That helps you grow and thrive. It's the kind of love that doesn't demand sacrifices, but inspires you to be the best version of yourself. And isn't that what we're all really looking for? So I challenge you mm -hmm. right here, right mm -hmm. now. Make a commitment to yourself. Promise that from this day forward, 
You will not hurt yourself in the name of love. Promise that you will value yourself, respect yourself, and expect the same from others. It won't be easy. There will be days when you'll be tempted to fall back into old patterns. There will be people who will try to take advantage of your newfound strengths, who will try to guilt you into putting their needs first. But stand firm. Yes, Remember, they will. Remember that you yes, deserve they will. love that lifts you up, not love that tears going. you down. This is your stay life firm. we're talking about. Your one precious life. Don't waste it trying to earn love by diminishing yourself. Don't spend it catering to people who don't appreciate your worth. You have so much to offer, so much potential waiting to be realized. The harsh reality of self-sacrificing love is, is that, that it's a losing game. No matter how much you give, it will never be enough. No matter how much you change yourself, it won't guarantee love or loyalty. The only way to win is to stop playing all together. Instead, choose self-respect, choose self-love, choose to be unapologetically, authentically you. Because when you do that, when you stand in your power and demand to be valued, that's when you'll find the kind of love that's worth having. That's when you'll build relationships that enrich your life instead of draining it. You know what I'm wrong? You are not responsible for anyone else's happiness. You are not obligated to set yourself on fire to keep someone else warm. Your primary responsibility is to yourself, to your own growth and happiness. So starting to uh, uh, make a vow to love yourself first. Make a commitment to honor your needs, your dreams, your boundaries. Promise yourself that you will never again sacrifice your essence for someone else's approval. Because here's the truth. When you love yourself, when you respect yourself, you become magnetic. You attract people who appreciate your strength, who value your authenticity. You create relationships based on mutual respect and genuine affection, not dependency or obligation. Yes, Lord, thank you. This thank is the foundation for real love. For, these individuals for partnerships life, Father, that I lift you up instead you, of tearing you, thank you, thank you Lord, down. Lord, to this is how you build a life filled Father with God, joy, God, purpose, you, and genuine connection. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. So, are you ready? Uh, are you ready to break free from the cycle? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are ready in Jesus' name.